the Holy Spirit gives us the grace we need to live and even thrive in the face of challenges. We are to keep our eyes on Christ and stay firm in Him. The life in the papacy of St. Leo the Great is a great sign for this for the whole church. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI called him one of the most important popes in history. And there's good reason to call him great. Born around the year 400 in Italy, when the Roman Empire was in steep decline, Civil authority and structures were weakening and tending towards social chaos. When the Holy Spirit placed in the, in the chair of St. Peter, Leo, a wise and holy leader. The church itself was being racked by heresies, which he confronted with sound teaching, respected by all. Because of the weakness of civil structures, Leo even had to step up to assume more temporal power to take care of people. His famous meeting with Attila the Hun, who was about to ravage Rome and, and central Italy, saved the city from destruction and a huge loss of life. It would be the light of Christian faith and the Christian way of life that would guide Europe through a period that history calls the Dark Ages. And it was Pope Leo who set the stage. I'm sure that Leo relied on St. Paul's letter to Titus that we hear from today as he shepherded the people of God. Paul writes to his disciple and protege Titus, whom he left in Crete as bishop to build up the church among a people that was well known as being wild and difficult. <laughs> this epistle this letter to Titus is filled with practical, down-to-earth teachings that Leo would need to guide the Christian community for his times and that we need for ours. He says, For the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires. To be eager to do good, the Holy Spirit gives us the grace. We need to believe, trust, receive it, and put it into practice. It's obvious that people all around the world are feeling the weight of the complexity of our times. We can learn from our forebears how to, how from, we can learn from our forebears how to go through and even thrive in the face of what they had to live. Remembering St. Leo the Great, we can appreciate that for the last 2,000 years, the light of Christ has guided, giving solid foundations for how to be at peace and joyful, and to be joyful moving forward. Simply being eager to, to do good each day and keeping your eyes on the big picture. Eternal life the appearance of the glory of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.